Good morning, everybody. Oh, I hit myself in the head with this little string that's attached to you guys. See that? <laughs> Anyways, Diesel. Say hello to all the good people. Say hello. Say it. Say it, man. Say it. What? I don't want to say it, man. Say it. Look here. <laughs> You're scaring me, man. People just want to see your handsome face. Not your little pouty face. Come on, show me your handsome face. Come on. Yeah. Chin held high. Come on. Come on, turn around. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit. Okay, go. Oh, oh. Why do you look so, like, wimpy? Hold your head up. Come on, right there. Right there. Okay. Good boy. Keep your head up. One second. You're out. Just a little one little tail wag down there. I'm trying, mate. I'm trying. I'm trying to look real manly for you, mate. <laughs> I'm just bugging you. You're a good boy. Hello. We are starting the day in Anderson, South Carolina. It's beautiful and it's sunshiny. We're actually at a rest area nearby it. And that's what it looks like. Look at that green grass. Green grass that is the best way to start any day with green grass i completely agree so thanks for joining me today guys we're going to be headed up towards mississauga ontario canada we're not going to make it nope not today we're trying to get within i don't know i'd like to travel about a thousand kilometers today which is 620 miles but i don't have to but i have to at least go uh 700 to 750 kilometers so I speak in kilometers. I know most of you speak in miles an hour. I'm sorry that I'm always speaking in metric. It's just easier for me to understand. Because when I say 750 kilometers, to me in my head, that's seven and a half hours of driving on the highway. How far can you get in seven and a half hours in miles an hour? I don't know. Let's say I travel at about 65 miles an hour. It's about 100 kilometers an hour. That's why 750 kilometers is seven and a half hours, right? 100 kilometers an hour, some math. You thought truckers weren't smart. So miles an hour, let's say we were doing 65 miles an hour. Let's say 60 miles an hour, just to make it easier. For seven and a half hours, how many miles will, will we get? You figure it out. See if you can do it in your head. Don't, don't use paper. Okay, pause the movie right now. See if you can do it in your head. Seven and a half hours at 60 miles an hour. How many miles will you go? Okay, go. Okay, I gotta figure this one out myself too. So, you can drop the zero off the 60, right? So just six, even easier. Six times seven. Oh, but the half, that makes it hard. First of all, you gotta find out how many miles you would go in one hour going 60 miles an hour. If you don't know that, just put your pencils down and go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, 60 miles an hour, you will make it 60 miles in one hour. That means in one half hour, you go 30 miles, right? Okay, so let's remember that, and let's take that half hour off at the end. So now, it's just seven hours, okay? We'll add the half hour later. Seven hours at 60 miles an hour. Drop the zero, seven times six, what is it? 42. Okay, 42, you guess 42? Hope I'm right, because if I'm wrong, this is gonna be embarrassing. 42. Now remember that zero you knocked off the 60 there? It's not very nice to leave that thing out, so you gotta bring it back. Put it at the back there. So 42, add the zero, 420 miles. Okay, now remember, we also left out that half hour. How far do you go in half an hour? 30 miles, you can't forget that. Don't leave anybody out. So 420 miles, plus the extra 30 miles, you got 450 miles. That's how far you can go in seven and a half hours traveling at 60 miles an hour. Now that was an easy one. Now try that, I might need a calculator if I would need to, if I'd be going like 63 miles an hour, right? Cause then it's a little bit harder. That's why God invented calculators. But one day calculators may go extinct, you never know. You should always know how to do math on paper at least. I mean, experts do it in their heads. I'm no expert, I would still want to do it on paper, but 
always write out all your equations. If you guys are in school, you young guys who are in school right now, your teachers are always telling you, show your work, show your work. That's why they want to see that you know the process of how you got the answer. They want to know that you got the answer without cheating. <laughs> I've been ranting on, what am I, a teacher? I should have been a teacher. Nah, I'm a truck driver, I'm a truck driver. I'm sorry and I've wasted the whole bunch of your time. <laughs> My point of this opening segment is, if you want to be a truck driver, it's not just driving a truck. There's a lot of math involved. So if you're in school, pay attention. You're going to need it. Even in these careers, even in trades, you need it. Diesel. Diesel. This is confusing, man. It's confusing. Where's all the snow, man? Shout out with January. Look at him. All confused. Look at this magnificent little park we found. Isn't that nice? Look how big these trees are here. Ridiculous. Super long growing season, I guess. But let the record show. In January 2015, I was outside in a t-shirt walking on green grass. <laughs> Not every place in the world is buried under 10 feet of snow and frozen at minus 30. Go figure. Right, Diesel? What do you think? What do you think of this? I think I saw a rabbit over there, man. Just saying. You just want to go check it out, maybe? Maybe sniff it out a little bit? Sure, why not? Why not? It's just beautiful. Oh, I don't want to go home. I don't want to stay down here. Like that sunshine hitting my face right there, it's like warming up my face. I might even get a suntan, I don't know. If I'm not careful. This might happen. All right, guys, let's get this show on the road. Let's get the road on the show. That doesn't really work that way, does it? Yeah, it's such a beautiful day. We're gonna have to drive with our windows down. Did I mention it's January? <laughs> Music up, windows down, ready to go. You guys who live down here are so lucky, you know that? So lucky. Uh, this is, I believe, I-77 northbound. And the I-81 northbound. Here we go. Well, I'm not sure if you can see him now that we're behind the trees. But I believe those are the Virginia Mountains, in quotation marks, up ahead of us. Rest area, Virginia Welcome Center, one mile. Well, that makes sense, we're almost in Virginia. Virginia, they got some really nice scenery. I think we're going through West Virginia as well. No offense, Virginia, West Virginia's got some even better scenery, if you ask me, I don't know, it's my own opinion. Don't shoot the messenger, just saying. Hopefully we'll get to see some of this before the sun goes down. I don't know why, but the sun seems to be in a rush to get to the other side of the world. Anyways, we'll see, uh, we'll see what we see. Does that make sense? We'll see what we see. Well, you ready to go through, uh, what is this? Big Walker Mountain Tunnel. Big Walker, someone's walking and he's walking big. Or maybe it's a she, I don't know. What I would like to know though is why everyone slows down to like almost a crawl going through the tunnel. I understand some people are scared of the dark. The guy in front of me is a little scared of the wall too. <laughs> That's okay, nothing wrong with that. I just found it a little funny. Speed limit is 55 through here, but it seems everybody likes to rather do 35 to 40. I guess it's better than doing like 100. Just saying, I guess. Alright buddy, you're blocking my view. I can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. I actually travel through these tunnels quite a bit, don't I? I'm always out here. Oh, you're slowing down some more yet, man? Really? Dude, you're taking up both lanes. The wall's not gonna bite you. All right, can I go past you now? 
It's a little dark in here right now, eh, Diesel? How are you doing? It's been a good day? That's a very nice truck over there, man. I guess you could say that. I'm not an international fan myself, but... A running truck is a good truck. That's what I say. So we're just here at this uh, rest area here. Just got into West Virginia. I just made myself some food that's actually done right now. I should actually go and get that before I drive away again. <laughs> I put my food in the microwave. I sat down, put my seatbelt on. I was gonna vlog a bit and then go. I forgot I put food in the microwave. That's the whole reason we stopped, because I was hungry. Imagine, I would've gotten like two miles down the road and gone, oh, food! And then I wouldn't be able to find a place to park again for like another 30 minutes. And then my food would be cold. So good thing I stopped to talk to you guys, right? Thanks guys, always there for me. I'm gonna go eat my food now and then we're gonna go. We still got a long way to go, but as you can see, it's uh, it's dark outside already, so I can't do much more vlogging unless we go through a city. But it's been a good day. Hope you're having a good day. If you're not having a good day, why not? Why aren't you? You're not allowed to have a good day. Wait, you are. You're supposed to have a good day. Now I can't even talk because I'm excited to go eat my food, so I'm just gonna shut up. Some kind of K and T truck stop, some little mom and pop truck stop here. I think we're still in Virginia, no West Virginia. I don't, didn't see any signs for Kentucky yet. Is Kentucky the next state? I don't even know. I think we're still in West Virginia. I have to check. I got to do my logs right away. But first, I wanted to say hi to you guys. What I did first was see if they had a Wi-Fi signal here, <laughs> and they do, which is uh. Awesome, actually, they got a really good Wi Fi signal here, guys. If you guys know where this is, KT Truck Stop, uh, I think it's exit 139, I 77, West Virginia. I think. Really good Wi Fi here. And I'm gonna go into the store right away and see what they have inside. I can't really speak for inside. It, it looks like a mom and pop, like, what do you call that? A mom and pop truck stop? Like they used to be. I'm sure it's nice in there. Parking lot is gravel and really bumpy, though, so don't come barreling in here. Uh, you're gonna lose a tire. <laughs> Take her slow and easy. But I'm used to that because that's how all the truck stops are in Canada, in Western Canada anyways. 
Anyways, I was on Facebook here, and uh, I just realized today, oops, how do I get out of this? One second, I'm gonna hold you guys with this hand. Uh, I just realized today that uh, there is, as of right now when I'm filming this, let's see, 10,000, over 10,000 you, 10,116 people who follow me on Facebook right now. There's only 5,030 or so that are following me on Twitter. So sorry, Twitter, you're getting left in the dust. But if you're not one of these people who are following me on my social media, uh, feel free to go down below to the description. You'll find my social media there. And you can come join the discussion with me on Facebook. I'm going to warn you, sometimes when I'm really excited about something that's going on, I kind of spoil next week's vlogs and post pictures about it. I try not to do that too often, unless if I just can't help myself. Like when I got my moose bumper, I put a picture on Facebook, and everybody who follows me on Facebook knew about it and knew what it looked like before any of you in the in the vlogs did. So uh, this is my Facebook here. Uh, how do I get to the top? There we go. This is Trucker Josh, My Life Daily. And it says, warning, behind there says, warning, professional YouTuber and creepy neighbor. <laughs> if that's not actually a shirt that I sell, but I thought about it once, but maybe one day yet, maybe. I really do need to redo my line of clothes that I have. I do have a store as well. I mean, it's in the description as well. I'm sure you guys have all heard of it already. Uh, I really need to update my logos in there and whatnot and update that whole store, actually. I haven't had time, but that's on the agenda and I'd like I wanted to have a new line of clothes out for winter for winter clothes but maybe I'll just do it for summer now because I don't have anyone who does that for me I've got to do that so I've got to find time to do that and it's been just chaos in my life uh, the past little while but my Facebook page feel free this is where I spend most of my time on Facebook I'm not really a Twitter bug but every post that I put on Facebook goes directly to Twitter so both sides get it so if you follow me on both you're gonna get the same status twice I'm one on each one right and uh, on my Facebook here this is like I always say it's more of a personal way to follow me uh, on my Facebook here I open up a little bit more to you guys about my beliefs my political stance all this stuff like to be honest with you guys I'm a big I've told you this like a political junkie I love politics I love following them pretty much a lot of the time I drive all day just listening to the news I am that lame <laughs> And I know, I don't believe all the news. Don't worry. I just like to know what they're saying. Uh, I listen to CNN. I listen to Fox News in the States for American news. In Canada, I listen to CBC News. Uh, CTV doesn't have a radio station on satellite yet, but I try to keep up with all of the current events that are going on. Uh, lately, I've also uh, found the show, uh, what's it called, Glenn Beck. Uh, I, like, I really like his show as well. And I try to keep up with all of the chaos that's going on around the world, right? And it's hard to tell what you can believe and what you can't believe. But I share more of my personal opinions and views and beliefs on my social media like this. And there's some people who disagree with me. There's some people that don't. I'm not out to please everybody and make everybody happy by just saying I believe whatever you believe because I might believe something different. Okay? And if... Uh, <laughs> and if you don't agree with what I'm saying on Facebook, that's fine. But uh, if you guys want to get to know me a little bit better, my social media is where it's at for that. Because you'll get instant posts there. I, I, I'm on Facebook every day. You'll hear from me every day on Facebook. And I post some controversial stuff on there. Uh, I try to get people's reactions. Sometimes I'll post a political post about something. And I, I like to see people's reactions and how they'll react. I have very strong views uh, about how things should be done, but so do you, right? Everybody has those views. And so, uh, yeah, obviously we get more into discussions and stuff like that. I try not to post controversial stuff like every day. That's just too much, but you know what I mean. So if you do want to get to know me a little bit better, uh, know what I'm passionate about, uh, know where I stand on issues Facebook and social media is where that's at because my videos these are my vlogs you don't get to know me very well through my vlogs I know some people think that they know me really well and I try not to uh, portray someone that I'm not uh, I actually think I, I don't portray someone that I'm not I try my best to stay true to my values and my beliefs because I believe that's what's most important Though I don't go in depth with them in the vlog. 
I go more in depth on on there. You get what I'm saying, right? You get what I'm saying. If you feel like it, go ahead, find me on Facebook and Twitter. Follow me. If you don't feel like it, or if you don't like doing that kind of thing, or if you don't like me, you don't have to. It's a free country, as of right now. It's gonna stay a free country if I have anything to do with it. Tell you what, there I go. My friends already know, don't get Josh talking about politics, because he'll never stop. <laughs> I have opinions, and they're right. <laughs> <laughs> right, Diesel? Oh, wait, wait, believe whatever you want, man. I just, I just want some of those foot loops. Is that what you're thinking about right now? I'm trying to be all serious, and you're just thinking about Fruit Loops? Hey, Diesel! I'm sorry, man. It's all ashamed. Hey, want some Fruit Loops? Want some Fruit Loops? Want some? Want some? <laughs> Don't tease me. It's not very nice. So thanks for joining me today, guys, in this trek towards Ontario. I will see you tomorrow anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time right here on YouTube. If you want to hear from me a little bit sooner, follow me on Facebook or Twitter, and you might. We'll see. What else was I going to tell you? Oh, yeah. Vlogs from the past. Stuff I've been doing over the past year. You want to find out, catch up a little bit, or see how far I've come in the past year? Again, description, links. Check it out. See you tomorrow.